Alright, so welcome to our workshop. This is Downtown Equipped. We're located in Vidalia, Georgia, and we get some really neat items to come in from all over the place. So today we're working on this project. This is a, a painted horse, and we're going to frame it for her. But first what we're going to do is make it, make it a canvas. You see how it's... We're going to make a stretch canvas, and we'll show you guys how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this roll rolled up canvas, this is a, this is the, another horse, one of the two of them, and what we're going to do is I've already pre-made this canvas, it's, it's called a stretch frame, so what this is, is it's actually the, the width of just the, of just the picture, of just the painting itself, and so what I did was I measured that and made a perfect canvas, and what this allows is when it has the reveal, it gives it a little bit more of a curve and it gives it more of a, it pops. And then what I did was I've also pre-made this frame. So once I get that in, what this does is it's going to snap right in to that. And so we're going to have a finished frame. So let's get started. All right, so what we've done is We've laid it out, we've laid out our material piece, which is this, and we're gonna, again, staple it onto this. Now, I've got a power stapler. If you, if you try to use the hand stapler, it's just really too hard. It's just your hands start to hurt after a while. So what you're gonna do is take your picture. Remember where the, the top side is. Usually I keep the top side on my left. And I lay this out. The, the, it's got a little bit of a lip on the top. Put that right on top and just start stapling away. Now the way you staple these is not, you want to be really careful the way you staple them. So you want to get just enough. You want to make sure you look at it a couple times. Make sure it's all lined up. And go about halfway and put your first staple in. It doesn't really matter if you do it at the top or bottom. I usually start in the middle. And what you're looking for is a little bit of the picture itself. And you're going to put about three in. All right. So then we're going to flip it to the other side. And do the same thing. You're just going to line it up. And as you remember in high school algebra, parallel lines just keep on going straight. So if you get the one side good, you're pretty home free. All right. So then we're going to do the ends the same way. And then we'll do our last side. All right. So then we're going to look at our product, make sure we get we're good to go. And then we're going to go back and just do the little filler staples. All right, so this is a little bit of a tricky part. So what you're going to do with the ends, you want to leave a good amount on either side. You want to leave a good four or five inches on either side so you can work with it. So you want to pull this little tip, you want to pull that out, fold it in, and then curve around. Now this is a, going to be framed in, so it doesn't have to be completely perfect. But it's always good to try and get those good hospital corners in. 
And then we're just gonna put a couple of staples, just like that. All right. All right, so now like I said before, we've already measured this, we made this frame last night, it's dried overnight. And now we're gonna hope that it fits, cause it's gotta fit pretty much perfectly. So we're gonna drop that right on there and it does fit. So, look at that. And now what we're gonna use to put it on there was these little item, these little uh, tools called offsets. So you're gonna gather a few. And what they do is they, 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 they hold the canvas down. You don't really have to, there, there's no point in putting them in the wood and the, and the, and the frame. It's gonna hold in there. So it's gonna save you some time. And also it's not gonna damage and tear you want to be really careful, especially if it's a hand-painted canvas. You don't want to put any more screws or nails or anything in the canvas you don't have to because you want to protect the, uh, the customer's item. So. All right, so in conclusion, thank you for joining us for this segment. Um, I hope that answered some questions about how to put in a stretch canvas frame because they can be really tricky. And uh, you can either paper the back or you can leave them plain like this one. You can just leave them open. Can't really go wrong. Um, if it's a nice, really nice one, hand painted, you may want to close it with some paper but, uh, to protect the back. But um, anyway, thank you for joining us and hope to see you next time.